Unusual way to start a shoot day. This is an unusual shoot day. Ross Neville is about to shoot Lech Wiedegarth, probably the most challenging shoot in the UK. Is this how you start every day? There's only one way to start any shooting day, and that's with a five mile run. Why is it? I'm sure you're going to, you know, you're spending the whole day exercising, surely. Gets this going, gets this going, and I'm ready for action. Let's leave the mean streets of Oswestry where Ross is staying and drive over the border into Wales where the landscape transports you to New Zealand. But these hills are pure Welsh and perhaps as perfect a place for a pheasant shoot as anywhere in the country. Oh yes. <laughs> famous Grise. What famous grouse is to whiskey, the Grise mountain drive is to pheasants. Plenty of it makes you happy. Before we get there, there are other drives that would be the envy of most shoots. We start in the trees, where Ross is joined by his loader, instructor, friend. I did suggest something marital about it last time we were out, but that's probably going too far. Hugo Heard. Right, when a bird comes, yeah. you take this gun. Okay. Because you will not remember no, the safety I, I catch. Won't. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you hadn't put the safety off for me. On this drive, Ross is back gun using a pair of Marukus. They've bloody come out well. Yeah, you know, I started I started with a pair of Marukus, funny enough. The first pair of guns when I really started doing this properly was a pair of Marukus and loved them. And so, you know, using a pair of Marukus today, um, the MK60 32 inch grade five, that was what I had. And just a great gun. I mean, they, they'll they'll do they do the job. They work very well. Start a gun? Would you say? I mean, if, you, if you're starting out in double gunning, can you think of a better gun? I can't because for the money, you're never gonna you're never gonna get another pair of guns for anywhere near that price. The pair of guns retails at around six thousand pounds, quite a long way short of the twenty thousand pounds plus that most of the guns on this shoot cost, which is only a small multiple of the cost of the day itself. Don't say that, and then my wife will know how much it costs. <laughs> I'm always a guest. She goes, bloody hell, you get invited a lot. <laughs> That's how it works, darling. <laughs> she goes, well, when are you going to invite them back? Oh, no, 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 they just like me to shoot. <laughs> back gun means that Ross and Hugo are out of the action for most of this drive. You've got to have large amounts coming through for us to get a yeah. bird that's... When they come, they are high. Yeah, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> come on! Come on. Let's just run through that bird again. It did crumple up, didn't it? Yeah. You know, probably saw six or eight feet of lead and, and down it came. It's not just the jogging and the boundless enthusiasm. Ross and Hugo go to great lengths to get the best out of their shoot days. Hugo has been working on which cartridges to bring today. With the right kit, we can take these birds down at big ranges. 50, 60, 70, some of them up to 80 yards. The kit we're using, 32 inch barrels. Okay, the length of barrel isn't going to make a difference, it's just the way the gun moves but we're, we're choked up three quarter, seven eighths, and we're using a 30, today we're using a, a FOB, 36 gram, five and a four size shot, uh, which is our favorite cartridge for pheasant, we're two days into the pheasant season, um, and we're getting good kills. We're not actually getting very consistent kills today and that isn't because of Ross's performance, it's because we've got damp cartridge. Had a big cartridge delivery last week. I would normally get cartridges on radiators at home, much to the wife's disapproval, to put some heat through the boxes. Didn't have time. Shouldn't have to do this, but we have got a damp batch of cartridge here. Um, that is showing unburnt powder residue left in the barrel we are using plastic wads we're allowed to use plastic wads here it should leave a clean barrel um, and it isn't so it's farewell to the fobs hugo is going to go off and work on finding different cartridges for next time 
A day like today runs well thanks to the hard work of keepers, beaters, staff in the hotels where the guns stay, pickers up, cooks and waitresses at the lunch and one of the giants of British pheasant shooting, Robert Jones. It's all about high birds. Wales is well known for high pheasants. We started my business 30 odd years ago with Long Mountain. And at that time in the late 80s, Long Mountain was one of the best shoots. But as time moves on, guns get better, birds get better. And now uh, we have the stable of three gun shoots, Long Mountain, Three Valleys and Liquidy Garth. Well, a local businessman approached me to come and help develop Liquidy Garth. In those years, prior to us coming here, the shoot was run by the family that owned the estate at that time, Mr. and Mrs. George Stott. Uh, we took it over. It took two or three years to work it all out. And probably in the last three or four years, it's really shown it's up to its true merit. And now it goes from year to year. It is very difficult to judge shoots for their merit. Um, what we really wanted to do, we had, we still have three valleys, which we created uh, 19 years ago, and that very quickly became a very well-known shoot. Hence why we were asked to call and come in and do something with Lequity Garth. So for Lequity Garth to get to basically the top of the tree, or one of the best shoots in the UK, in a short time was fabulous from our point of view. Robert is a genial host with a keen eye for what's going right and what's wrong on the shoot. He's popular with guns, compliments them when they're shooting straight and knows not to step in a poodle. Here we go here. Th th this is actually Monty, Count to Monte Cristo. He is the best dog I've ever had for picking up birds. What kind of birds would those be? Well, predominantly in Hyde Park. Robert's right-hand man is Martin Lott. He is new on Robert's shoots, learning to cope with the demands of the job and, of course, growing one leg longer than the other so he can walk around these steep hills. Um, you know, we get teams from all over the world shooting here. Um, Ross come over from America um, and that's, that's what attracts them. These are very, very tricky birds and, and you wouldn't come and pay the money to, to miss, as it were. Back to the shooting and Ross is where he wants to be. So this is my favourite drive, Grise Mountain. Uh, I've been coming here now for four years and it, every time it's utterly epic and it's just Grise Mountain is my dream. It's just because they're monster after monster after monster, you know. With here at Grise Mountain, a solid for half an hour, consistent birds over and over again at, you know, 70 plus yards and there's not many places that you can do that and Grise Mountain is probably one of the, one of the only places also Tommy's at Brigands. Excellent keepering makes this perhaps the world's top drive. I mean lots could go wrong. I mean if you you know if you had a dusting of snow up there it must drive them down. Um, yes but we've got good cover crop at the top of the mountain um, and they drive them out of there. Uh, snow can even help because we feed them in the right places in it and it keeps them where we need them to be. Well different ways of uh, either out of woodland natural cover or creating our own natural cover by growing uh, conifers, leylandies. We put those in about five, six years ago at Grise Mountain. We created that drive, it was never a drive before. And uh, yeah, it's just a dream piece of ground. It's not just that one pellet fluke. If you have the right gun and the right cartridges, you can consistently hit them between 60 and 90 yards. Maybe not consistently in 90, but certainly at that sort of 70 to 80 mark, you can. Oh, Woohoo! come on. For more about the Maruku pair, visit browning.eu. I remember to put the safety catch on. And to go shooting at Lequidigarth or on one of Robert's other shoots, visit longmountain.co.uk.